John? I thought you were home in Landview. Or actually, I think the last time I spoke to you, you were on a plane. But hasn't your warrant expired? That case is over. Um, I'm here on something else now. Well, from the looks of it, it's not going so well. It's face to face with the guy that killed my sister. Who, Sonny? The Corinthos didn't kill Teresa. Well, then who did? That's a good question, Sam. Take it, take it easy, friend. Oh, where we uh, we go way back. Here. I'm, 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 not, I'm, not, I'm okay. Look, wait a minute. If all the evidence pointed to Sunny, how how was it possible that he didn't do it? He took the fall for the dirtbag who did. That's what I saw. I walked in, I saw Teresa dead on the ground, and Sonny kneeling over her with a gun in his hand. You know, nine times out of ten, that's your case. That's what they teach you at the academy. This time I was wrong. You can't blame yourself. It was a cover-up. Oh, I can't blame myself. For good reason. I was trying to help Teresa. That's what I promised my old man. You know that I would find her and I'd make sure she was okay. What was she like? Pretty. <laughs> but guarded. Defensive. I remember she was always, you know, pushing her hair behind her ears, you know, like that. That means she was nervous. She told me she couldn't just... She couldn't just quit the club. Their boss wouldn't let her walk away. I told her I could protect her. I begged her to meet me again, but she told me she had to get back to work, and she said she'd have to think about it. As she was walking away, she kind of looked back over her shoulder, and she gave me a little wave. That's the last time I saw my sister alive. She didn't have to go back into that club, you know. She could have made the choice to get into the car with you and drive away. Oh, you know, she didn't even know me. You know, I'm just this guy that shows up one day promising her to take her away from all this. It was a rookie move. Someone, someone saw her talking to me. That's why they killed her. You know, I'm sorry, you don't, you don't... So how are you doing? <laughs> They're good, huh? Mm. I don't know, some days I feel like it's pretty normal. I spend a lot of time with my, my family and then, uh, you know, I'm off to work. Yeah, you got a case? I did, yes. It's undercover. Nothing I risk or anything. Just enough to keep me occupied and make me forget about today. You know. That's good. That's good while it lasts. You've tried it? Hmm. Burying yourself in your work? Oh, yeah. I'm good at that. The only problem is, you know, the, the pain's just sitting there. And it's waiting. Yeah. Sometimes I think I'm doing good with the loss and the grief. I do. And then all of a sudden, someone will come by and say something, and it's like, I'm blindsided. Someone? Heather Weber. Heather Weber. Former mental patient of Ferncliff. They should have never let her out of that place to begin with. That woman is obsessed with me in a major way. Yeah, I remember you talking about her. Yeah, well, guess what? She is not finished with me yet. Heather somehow found out that Jason sent those guys to beat you up. How'd she know that? I don't know. Apparently, she has her sources. 
And she also couldn't wait to tell me that it was Jason's fault that my baby died. You can't blame all this on Jason, you know. He, he had no way of knowing what I, was going to happen. Well, look, I don't, I don't want to talk about what Jason did okay. or didn't do. The whole thing just, it makes me really upset. It's just that... know why Heather made it a point of telling me. So she just wants to make me suffer. Forget about Heather. It sounds like she just feeds on misery. No, actually, it's not just Heather. Lately, it feels like the whole world is laughing at me, and why not? I mean, really, why not? My life is a disaster. You know, I think the whole world's got better things to do. <laughs> oh, yeah? yeah? Well, guess what? Today, I ordered some Chinese food, and the guy who delivered the food, he was the guy who married me. The delivery guy married you? Yes, I got married in a Chinese restaurant. That is a sluggish economy. <laughs> he went on and on about how wonderful Jason and I were and how we were the happiest couple on the planet. And I did not have the courage to tell him the truth. And I don't know why. I mean, I don't know if it's just because I didn't want to believe what I was saying, that my marriage was falling apart. And what happened to those people who got married who were so in love? Where did they go? How did Jason and I end up so far apart? I... <laughs> I shouldn't ask hey. this. It just makes me upset. Hey. Nothing in the world like it. Nothing in the world like it. 